Hello everyone, I am uh, Dr. Sasi Shri. I'm the head of the emergency department here at uh, Parvati Hospital. So, uh, 29th October is uh, observed as World Stroke Day. So, that is a day dedicated to creating an awareness of stroke. And why do we need that? So, worldwide, one in four people experience a stroke in their lifetime. So, it is very important for us to understand what leads to a stroke, how do we prevent a stroke, and also if you do get a stroke, what uh, treatment to be done, timely help, how it actually makes a difference in the outcome for the patient. So what is a stroke? Uh, normally, the brain needs a normal blood supply for a normal supply of oxygen and nutrients. So when you happen to get a stroke, what happens is the blood supply to the brain is compromised, to a particular area of the brain is compromised. So if that uh, blood supply is not restored quickly, what will happen is those brain cells will start to die. So that is the reason, first of all, it is very important to spot a stroke. How do we spot a stroke? There, it's a very simple uh, mnemonic that we can remember, something called be fast. So in that, B stands for balance. If suppose you're experiencing any sudden loss of balance, sudden severe giddiness, that is a symptom that you need to, uh, that needs to make you think about whether a person is having a stroke. Next is E. So uh, suppose there is any sudden loss of vision or blurred vision, that should also alert you to seek further help to see if a person is having a stroke. Next is F. So that stands for facial asymmetry. If you notice someone's uh, one side of the face that is drooping or there's any asymmetry as compared to the other side, so that should also be an alarming sign for you to seek further help. Next is A. So any arm drift or what is meant by that is if you can ask a person to lift their arm, lift their leg and compare it to the opposite side, you can always see if the affected side there will be a loss of power or you will notice that they're not able to lift their arm or lift their leg. So that should also be an alarming sign. Next is S. That is for speech. Suppose someone has had sudden loss of speech or they're having any slurred speech or the speech sounds different from what they usually uh, talk. So that point also should alarm you about the stroke. Next thing is T. T stands for time. So time is very important in case of a stroke. So now when we talk about stroke, there are different types of stroke. Now it can either be a hemorrhagic stroke, which means that there is a bleed in the brain which is causing a stroke, or it can be an ischemic stroke, which means that when there's a blood supply cut off to that particular area of the brain. Most of these strokes, about 87% of strokes are due to ischemia, that is compromised blood supply to that particular area of the brain. So and there's another one which is called an transient ischemic attack, which means that for a brief period of time, there will be a cutoff of the blood supply to that part of the brain, which will uh, reveal a few symptoms, which will spontaneously resolve. So this is something we call a mini stroke meaning it is a warning sign for a stroke. So even if you feel that someone has had symptoms but it's getting spontaneously resolved after a few minutes or after a few hours, that is a point you still also have to seek help because that can still be a warning sign for a stroke. So these are usually the types of stroke that we usually see. What uh, can you do to prevent a stroke? So or what are the risk factors that usually lead to a stroke? Now let's talk about risk factors first. Mostly it is diabetes, uncontrolled diabetes, hypertension, excessive smoking, a sedentary lifestyle, excessive alcohol intake, uh, not doing enough physical activity, any, having any history of cardiovascular disease, uh, not having routine checkups, routine follow-ups with your doctor, having a high cholesterol level. So all of these are risk factors for a stroke. So if you control these, if you have a better lifestyle, you have do some lifestyle modifications, these can help you in preventing a stroke. So next thing, so suppose now you suspect a stroke in a person, you've already known how to spot a stroke. So what do you do once you're suspecting a stroke? So next thing is to call for help immediately. Call for an ambulance and take the patient to the hospital immediately. Now when we spoke about the B fast, T stands for time. 
So when we talk about time, why time is important is there's a particular uh, period or what we call a window period during which the uh, surrounding area of the infarct can actually be saved so that it leads to better outcome in the patient. What I mean by that is when a blood supply to a particular area is compromised, what happens even the surrounding area will start to get affected eventually. If we intervene in that time, that window period, we can actually make a difference in the outcome or the recovery of the patient. So that is usually something we call a thrombolytic therapy, meaning it is clot breaking medications to break that clot so that blood supply can be restored to that part of the brain and then it can help in better recovery. Uh, so usually when we talk about stroke or the treatment of stroke, we always say time is brain because every second matters in case of once from the time the onset of stroke till there is treatment that we have initiated every second matters. So time is brain and also what the World Stroke Organization usually has as their theme this year also is precious time. So mainly to create an awareness about stroke, how to prevent a stroke and if you do have a stroke, how to seek early help and why seeking early help, how it can make a difference to the patient. So on this World Stroke Day, I would like to take this uh, opportunity to emphasize that a stroke is completely preventable if you take better care of your health, have regular checkups with the doctor, have better control of your diabetes, hypertension and your cardiovascular health and with a few lifestyle modifications, with uh, regular physical activity, decrease your alcohol intake, uh, avoid smoking. So these are all modifiable factors which can help you have better health and help you prevent a stroke. So I would like to emphasize this point again in case you suspect somebody is having a stroke, do not waste time. Please call for an ambulance immediately and take them to the hospital immediately. Time is brain and time is always precious. Thank you.